Hey guys, today we have something different and I'm actually rather excited. Dreamy sent us out two Robovax, or actually two Robovac sets to test out. This is their 10S Ultra, which is their top of the line Robovac with mop and self-cleaning and auto empty bin. And over here we have a 10 without the S, where it is a slightly cut down version of the unit at the same time at a lower price. And it's missing a few general features. Some of the main differences are on the hardware side, weaker obstacle avoider system as it's missing dual structure lights and AI action. There are also no buttons on the base station, which may be a good thing for those with curious pets. At the same time, there's no automatic cleaning fluid dispensing, and there's also no sensor for the dustbin, so you don't know when it's full. Now, on the software side, there is no video monitoring, which to me, in some ways, is actually a positive thing because it's one less smart device in your house with a camera. Also, there's no automatic way of displaying obstacles on the map. Not really a thing that most people will probably need, uh, but I think it might be useful for people to do troubleshooting. Also, there's no automatic furniture recognition, but you can still add furniture by hand in the app. As I mentioned earlier, the base station doesn't have the buttons anymore, so you can only control it through the app. And lastly, now this version only supports three floors for the multi-floor system, rather than the four on the more premium version. These are the main differences between these units. We'll see if any of these functions are actually a deal breaker when we do our test. But before that, let's unbox it and see what we've got inside the box. Right, these are the contents inside the box. So we have the actual base station. And it looks very similar to the existing one. And this is the main box where the Robovac is stored, as you can see with all the different components. Right, we start with the cleaning brush. So we have the pads, the mop pads, the cable. Uh, in this case, ooh, it's actually in a reusable bag. Points for that. And it's a European plug. But the beauty is you can still use your typical uh, kettle lead or your PC kind of style cable. So it's pretty easy to control. Then we have the little spinny brush. A warranty and quick start guide and a massive manual behind. The dustbin. So these are not reusable. Um, and uh, we just looked online and these actually go for around 10 Singapore dollars per unit when you buy a pack of three. So that's a thing that I wanna kind of focus on when we use this, on how long will this actually last, as well as how do we know on this new system without a sensor on how long would this actually last for? When is it actually full? We have the actual program. And that's the robot bike itself. So it has a LiDAR sensor on the top. You can open up and you'll, you'll find the dust collector with pre-installed filter. Pretty typical. And then at the back, you have your um, connections to the base station when you use. I do like that the bumper is actually protected using these little inserts. So if they get bumped while transporting it, they won't get damaged. And then on the bottom, we have the unit itself. So we have the brush, which is actually really easy to, to take apart. So you can clean uh, any extra hairs or anything as it comes through. Uh, very likely in our household. Uh, the missus and the cat uh, both have long hair. Then you got the brushes. So assume you're just gonna that's a bit straightforward. You just slot them in. And then the front brush. Same thing. Ready to go. And if you need to clean whatever else, uh, you can just use this. And it has a little uh, cable, sorry, a little hair cutter inside. So if you do have the hairs stuck in there, you can actually use, cut them off using this little clip. Nice little touch. Let's plug this in and see how it all stacks up. What we can do, we'll, we'll just connect to it and just set it up on our app, and then we'll go and set it up properly to actually test it properly. Network connected successfully. 
that was actually super painless. And as you can see in the app, we have 10S Ultra and 10 Ultra. This says it says that process is actually very easy. You download the app, you just connect it up to it, and um, you can start mapping out the room and actually connect everything up. Do follow the quick start guide if you get this. Um, and what we'll do now is we'll go and set it up in our main area and test out and see how it delivers. And set up we did. We actually used both of these Robovax interchangeably over a few weeks. And to be honest, on a day-to-day -day basis, they're very similar. In regards to the dustbin sensor, according to information from Dreamy, users will have to check the dustbin manually. Generally speaking, it should last around 60 days for the bag to get full but it depends on the frequency of use and amount of dust in the house. In our example, we are about three weeks in and dustbin is not even half full. And that is considering that we have a pretty heavy cat. With this in mind, I don't think lack of sensor is a deal breaker. As part of the normal use, both Robovacs scanned the house in approximately the same amount of time. Clean time was also similar, or in some cases, AI model was actually slower, but more on that a little bit later on. Both of them really, for some reason, hate or maybe love my table legs they get into this humping mode around it. But the same used to happen to our older Roborock unit as well. So it might just be the kryptonite for all Robovax. I'm actually pretty impressed with the mob functionality on both these units, as well as the self-clean and empty system. In a larger house, it is just a treat to have. We've changed the settings for the robot to go wash its mop every 20 square meters, which speeds up the actual cleaning time. But to be fair, most people don't really care about how long it takes, as you're probably already away from the house. And while we're on the subject of mopping, the lack of automated floor cleaner dispenser is something that we missed, but it's also possible just to add a few drops of it into the water as you top it up the tank. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, please consider subscribing for more tech videos like this. Next is the main smart functionality, and here is a bit of a mixed bag, mainly because of the aforementioned cat. To cat-proof the house, we actually make sure not to have anything on the floor that could be chewed on or even worse, swallowed. Which means we also don't really have anything for the vacuum to avoid. But for the sake of science, we set up a test in the form of an obstacle course which has tiled floor, carpet, some bits of cat food on the carpet, his litter pellets on the floor, loose cable and a random shoe with some loose laces. We set both Robovacs on the mission to clean and see how they cope. In this very specific scenario, both of the Robovax start off swimmingly, but soon after the L10 Ultra is starting to experience some issues with the shoelaces. It got tangled up so bad that we had to pause and go on a rescue mission. In the meantime, the L10S, while being a bit slower and overthinking things, like avoiding the litter pellets, at least did not do any damage or go caught on things. It also clearly shows here where the more budget version just went through the power cord like a tank while the L10S recognized the object and avoided it. Interestingly, both of them left a single cat food bit somewhere on the carpet or around it, but in general, the carpet cleaning was thorough. Overall, because of the AI, the L10S was three minutes slower as it was processing the information and making decisions if certain things should be cleaned or not. This is not to say that AI is perfect. Check out this clip where we increased the difficulty by adding some black rubber anti-slip pads and 10 s just ignored them even got them trapped under its wheel and eventually mopping pad. It's kind of hysterical when it runs around with two of them just still attached to it, but I digress. Overall, both Dreamy L10 and L10S Ultra are solid choices for those in need of a robo vacuum. The L10 Ultra is a great budget option which has a good cleaning performance, while the L10S Ultra offers few additional features for those willing to spend a bit more. It ultimately comes down to your specific needs and budget. Personally, I feel that the self-cleaning and auto-empty dock is a much more beneficial item than the AI functionality, but that's because we tend to keep the floors clear. Let us know in the comments below how important object recognition is to you. If you want to check out any of the items covered in the video, the links are in the description below. I hope you found this useful. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up and subscribe for more. We'll see you guys in the next one.